Hi there Pisces, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be the monthly love reading for Pisces singles. So guys, let's um, get started on the cards and see what might be happening for you in love writing or romance, who might be coming in for you. So I'm going to start with the Journey of Love Oracle by Alain Fairchild. Some of the conceptual messages are not all love related, most of them are. I like to use this oracle deck for my love readings. Loving all that is. You know, for me, this really shows somebody who is in that really open-hearted energy. You know, and when our heart is open, it's not armored. We're loving all that is. That's when we're very magnetic for love, right? So some of you might need to do some work of, you know, opening up, of, of being the type of love that you want to attract. What do you need to, how do you need to be? What kind of person do you want to attract? And how close are you to being that? Shakti. Oh, that's beautiful energy, guys. You know, that is really, really that beautiful, divine, feminine, fiery energy. You know, and we're really seeing that kind of divine goddess energy and loving all that is as well. You know, whether you're male or female, and this is the energy of divine feminine, which is not the energy of push and do. It's the energy of rest and receive. So maybe some of you just need to, to relax to get your energy in the right place. And that is when we really start to attract magnetize, manifest. Okay, Pisces, let's go to the right weight and get your tarot story out. It's too many Pisces. There it goes though. Okay, wants to be seen, wants to be seen. Okay, you know, four of pentacles can be that that scarcity or the holding on, feeling impatient. Yes, I can see what's happening here already, guys. King of Swords. Yeah. Alright, let's get the other energy out. Page of Pentacles. The moon. And the Three of Wands. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, what's coming up for me immediately as, I, immediately as I see these cards, Pisces, is a sense of disillusionment in love. You know, I think you're really, really wanting it, but there's a sense that, you know, it's not happening fast enough. Now, I've had both of the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles in another reading just a couple of readings ago. I think it might have been Virgo. Um, you know, both of these energies for me are, you know, like I'm just not getting back what I want. I'm really just not receiving here, you know. And we've just had that message of, you know, moving into receivership by softening, by getting out of the do energy, out of the divine masculine. I mean, we've got pentacles here. And this is the energy of, of, of doing, of, of physical you know, work, all of that kind of thing. So what I'm going to say off the bat here is that some of you might need to, to shift your focus from work, from money, from those kind of material distractions and really start putting it into self-love, cultivating that inner state, you know, taking time out, resting if you can. And that can just mean energetically, you know, not filling yourself with information in order to, to really come into that receivership space, right? So that's what I'm seeing there. So Pisces, you know, four of pentacles and the page of pentacles, what I'm immediately seeing here is that there could be somebody who's ready to come towards you, showing up as the page of pentacles, showing up as earth energy, somebody like a Virgo Capricorn or Taurus, maybe somebody younger than you. However, you know, they've got this, this beautiful pentacle, this offer, this commitment to offer you, but your energy field looks like this. And 
You've already got one big block over your heart, one big shield over the heart. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like, not today, not open for business, you know. I really see somebody who is kind of, um, you know, hunkered down, like, you know, not open for love, is contracted and is kind of a little bit, seems a little bit scared of it, to be honest, right? This can be the scarcity mindset of, look, love has really rocked me before, it's shaken my foundations, so that's why I'm holding on to everything, I've got my heart armoured, and maybe I've just distracted myself with, you know, work and sensual pleasures and things like that, because, you know, I'm really just not too sure about a great love, but, you know, I feel like there are people circulating you here, um, Pisces, you know, potentially somebody might even make you an offer, but are you open to receive? That is coming up for me again, and I think it's because you've been disappointed before. Got the Seven of Pentacles and the Moon. So yeah, the Seven of Pentacles for me, you know, shows that energy of, look, you have put in a lot of effort in the past, maybe in past relationships, and you're kind of at that stage where it's like, well, I'm just, I've lost my faith in love. I'm just not sure about it, right? That's what I'm feeling here with the Seven of Pentacles. Or this could be also the realization of, I've actually lost myself in, in work and all of those kind of things. I've ignored love and now I've just ended up, you know, feeling quite miserable because I don't have love in my life. So that's what I'm also sensing with this. There's a, there's a time where you want to receive, you want to receive the love, but you need to shift your focus is what I'm feeling here. And there is a sense that, you know, we will need to be patient, right? Uh, the moon here really for me kind of is about that, the fact that you've been disillusioned in love. You know, you might have been through a deception in the, you know, maybe in the recent past. You could have gone through a deception with somebody who was maybe a little bit two-faced with you or somebody that, that kept secrets from you or something like that. But it's really time to, to release that illusionary energy now. You know, maybe we should bring in the Seven of Cups here. I really feel that there is a, a sense of holding on to hurt from somebody that maybe made a lot of hollow promises somebody that promised the world and didn't deliver and you didn't see the physical materializing the commitment the follow-through for all of the promises that were made right it was kept at arm's length but I think what um what I'm really sensing here Pisces and what you may not have come to yourself is that this is a hidden blessing why is it adding blessing? Because this wasn't the situation for you. And it was going to lead to more apathy, more boredom, more dissatisfaction and not feeling fulfilled. The moon can be also the card of hidden blessings. So I feel like that relationship or whatever you've suffered in the past in love was making you feel or could have in the future made you feel unsteady and ungrounded. And that's why we, we see you in this energy now of, of holding on holding on, really wanting to stay, you know, grounded and, and in control. So maybe that is the the insight, the breakthrough that you needed to get to in order to be able to move on and, and get to this level of new manifestation and new positivity and love. Like the King of Swords is is that is that big picture vision. It's the eagle eye view, it's the clarity, it's the breakthrough, it's the victory, it's the triumph, and it transforms the situation. So that's what I'm seeing. I feel like that's a bit of a breakthrough moment for you. And this really is a month for you to turn your back on the past. Understand that that wasn't serving you. And it's time to look forward to the future now and you know, really take the inspired action that you need to attract the love. And we can already see the ships on the horizon, it's like as soon as you turn your back on the past, you know, things start happening, energy starts moving, and we can get into the manifestation mode, right? And maybe somebody is going to come in, but you need to be available to recognize these opportunities, and you also need to be open to receive, you know, that, the energy that I was sensing at the start. Let's get one more to see if we can get a little bit more future vision here, guys. Like shaking the tripod as I do that. Let's get one more card, please, for Pisces. All right, we've got two, and I'm going to take them because we have got <laughs> victory and triumph over the past challenges, over the 
inner demons here. Yeah, I really feel like this is going to be a month, guys, of, of moving on from the past. The Six of Wands is about somebody who's come out of a challenging time, is now, you know, back in self-confidence, back with a head held high, you know, back liberated, you know, not sort of keeping themselves small here. And this is also a card of, of being attractive, of public recognition of standing out right this is the triumph over the challenges of the past maybe you were in a situation where you're sort of walking on eggshells you know in that fight or flight kind of mode and now you are fighting that off for good you've overcome it you've got the victory over it and you know the, the green pastures are behind you so I do feel that this month guys is the month of, of clearing some old energy of getting yourself into receivership mode and starting to take that action for that person to come in. So just read the energy of the cards, guys. Let's get some romance angels out, though, and see if they can shed a little more light. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So what I'm saying is that clear all that away and then... <laughs> person can come in sorry these cards are a little loud guys engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment well <laughs> when someone does come in I think it's going to be all on very quickly let's get one more Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Well, that could be where you've come from, right? Could have been a real codependency in the past. And you're really being asked to gain victory and clear the past so that you can really attract in that soulmate. Remember, you know, relax and receive. Move into that divine feminine energy, whether you're male or female. You know, let go. Let go and just let things unfold. Okay, Pisces, I am going to leave it there. I do wish you all the best in love for the month of September. Do remember this is a general reading for the collective. It may not be everyone's story. That's totally fine. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment if you're called to share. I do read them all and I try and respond to as many as I can. It helps me get to know you guys and connect with your energies. And I will see you back here throughout the month for plenty more readings.